They call him Sitin, the man of legends. Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to an exciting video today where we're going to be talking about uh, my cleric solo spec or my slightly adapted inquisitive solo spec which is wonderful and I uh, absolutely love it. So basically let's let's really dive straight into the meat of it. Um, the spec is 61 inquisitor, 8 defiler and 7 shaman. Now it's 8 defiler for loathsome restoration mainly and also the damage out for, for, from open minded and obscure excessive and also seven shaman from dauntless courage and also vicious streak if for whatever reason you do not have defiler um substituting defiler for purifier and putting six points in that uh five out of five in spirit guidance and the one in caregiver's blessing and then you can chuck two additional points in vicious streak from shaman to get a bit more crit however bear in mind that that build is going to be dealing about it's probably going to be about seven percent overall less damage you are going to have a bit more survivability um, but regardless of which I prefer this one just because I don't believe that you need like the, the more survivability thing because literally with this build if you go back on the channel I've used it to level um, like the fastest person to 65 in the world by about two hours which was crazy um, solo to Kilios just soloed the majority of Hammer now and pretty much is the most beasty spec in the world for soloing so yeah I, I do not recommend and you need any other spec apart from this one so it is my uh, definite go-to spec so yeah that's pretty much it for the very very basics of the spec so uh, we're gonna talk you through the rotation and what you should be doing in open world now so basically the aim of um, Inquisitor is to put as many dots up as you can. The dots that you want to put up are your Scourge and your Vex on uh, a variety of targets and then you want to pull them all together. So as you can see I'm going to pull Scourge, Vex, then tab target, next one Scourge, Vex, and then next one Scourge, Vex, Scourge, Vex, and once I've got them all together I want to pop Fanaticism and then hit him with a Soul Drain. Then I would channel a Circle of Oblivion or alternately spam heal myself if sort of the mobs are sort of dealing very very heavy damage uh, because you know circle of oblivion doesn't kind of hit that hard it's just kind of light filler damage and then generally I'll either well depending on the health of the mobs I will either dot them up again um, with scourges and vexes or I will use the bolts to bring them down so that was kind of like just your standard pull I meant it down on my um, cleric to level 60 at the moment and I have literally a very uh, a fraction of the spell power and gear that I do have when fully sort of uh, leveled up to 65 literally I'd be doing about three times this damage so as you can see Scourge Vex let's try a slightly larger pool now to show how judicial privilege is incorporated into this so uh, Scourge Vex Scourge Vex and then as you can see I've got a lot on my play at the moment I'm going to put judicial privilege then I use radical coalescence to quickly reset the cooldown of my soul drain so I can fire off another one of those pretty damn quickly and then uh, I just put the Scourges and Vexes out or actually uh, on a mob mobs with this low health I'd probably just put scourges out and then fire up another soul drain and then as you can see easily easily able to deal with eight plus mobs wasn't even remotely a challenge there and to be honest I'm literally the stats that I have at the moment are those of really a kind of fresh questing 60 so you know I don't really have anything special on at the moment um, and I'll, I'll just quickly unment it for a sec just so you can see how much my stats do go up as you can see big big increase on the wisdom like 5k extra wisdom almost up to 14k spell power there 3k crit power so literally if I'm doing stuff in my main gear which I will just show you because it is awesome uh, so let's scourge vex scourge vex it's not even fair on these mobs to be honest I don't don't even have to that's all I need to do I just scourge vex once GG D don't even need to nuke them so it's really really awesome uh, especially for sort of farming the uh, nightmare tide content just running around scourging and vexing them it's brilliant scourge and vex are wonderful dots um, but there are a few other things that you, you kind of need to note and that is that you have a lot of very hard hitting single target channeled abilities now you ideally uh, before you use any channeled ability you want to use fanaticism followed by a bolt of depravity and this way what it does is basically fanaticism causes your next uh, ability to force crit right so if you see a uh as a force crit but then it applies three stacks of zealotry which increase your critical hit chance uh, with your spells um, 
And this actually applies to every tick of a channeled ability, whereas if you just force crit a channeled ability, only the first tick of that channeled ability will um, crit. Whereas, you know, if I uh, if I do a channel now of like aggressive inquisition, then probably a lot of my bolts are going to crit because, you know, they have that extra crit chance uh, from Zilla Tree. So that's pretty damn awesome and something to bear in mind, guys. So kind of let's see, are there any big mobs to burn around here? Probably not. Let's let's mend it down uh, back to uh, back to the old sixty if we can, and uh, then hopefully um, and give you a practical demonstration of how that works on a single target. So actually, let me just force crit like a uh, a bolt of judgment just to quickly get into this example, and then let's reset the cooldown. So as you can see, aggressive inquisition. All literally all of my bolts of depravity crit there from the ticks, and you follow that with Anissa's or um, Soul Stream, and boom, you are like in business for the channel single target damage. Apart from that, in terms of single target damage, you have your uh, various bolts that you can throw out. Uh, like you got Bolt of Judgment, so that should be used. That's actually quite commonly used because quite often you're on the move and you're trying to, you know, pick up more mobs. It's just throwing out, you know, a bit of insta damage and building stacks of uh, Unified Fury, which can then be used to fire off a slightly harder hitting Bolt, which is the Bolt of Depravity. Um, you also, every time you use an Instacast Bolt of Depravity via the Unified Fury proc, you will also get two stacks of Echoing Concord, which will make your Bolt of Retribution uh, basically worth casting. So only cast Bolt of Retribution while you have Echo and Concord up as it reduces the cast time of it um, and just makes it pretty damn sweet. So just uh, just to finally clarify, because Inquisitor is more of a hands-on build, you know, you're going to have to play around with this um, for yourself and learn how to do it. This spec really gets good at level 58. It is totally viable before then. As soon as you get Vex and also the points in Contempt, you are pretty much ready to go. Um, when you get Soul Drain, it makes it just really, really beasty. Um, and when you get to level uh, 58, it just completes the spec because you get Spell Ritual scrutiny which reduces your global cooldown to basically one second instead of a zero uh, instead of 1.5 seconds so um, you can fire out those dots and everything much faster makes it a much more fast place build to play um, and makes it just 10 times more enjoyable especially for myself um, you also just have a variety of buffs armor of awakening spiritual scrutiny if you want to have a look at the masteries that I use this is for sort of 60 plus players uh, these are the ones that I use for the solo spec you could possibly Possibly replace Soul Collector with Avenging Shield, especially on longer fights like um, Achilleos, but I, I prefer Soul Collector at the moment. Just it, It's very, very minimal there, but Soul Stream is awesome because it can also be uh, channeled on yourself as a very, very large heal uh, in sort of dire situations, but you will not unlock that until 65, just as a bit of a heads up. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Apart from that, take care and have an absolutely great day, guys.